This is the cleanest village in Asia. It's not in Japan. It's not in Singapore. It's in... I'll tell you later. Here, instead of dirty streets, you will see gorgeous gardens. Instead of pollution, you will see clear skies and clean water. And instead of trash, you will see beautiful handmade waste bins. This village stays clean because everyone believes in cleaning. Together! People clean before they go to work. Children clean on the weekends. And people turn their food trash into this beautiful soil. They work together to make sure that every person has a toilet and every person can read. This is the village of Molanong in India, where cleanliness is not a personal thing. It's a community responsibility. This inspiring village teaches us the power of community. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. This cafe will not let me leave. I am in Tokyo, in a cafe full of people. And none of us are allowed to go home. Hi, Nasdairi. I'm Takuya. Welcome to my cafe. In this cafe, you can only go inside if you have a project. And you cannot walk out until you finish. Here is how it works. You tell Takuya-san what project you're working on. You tell him how much time he wants to spend on it. And then you sign a contract saying you will finish your project before you go home. Takuya-san will check on you every hour to make sure you are working. I just want to help people be productive. He will even stand behind you to put extra pressure on you. How's the video going? And it doesn't cost that much, just $5 an hour. And if you don't finish on time, he will charge you 10 times more and he will keep the cafe open until you meet your deadline. So the next time you have a big deadline coming up, skip Starbucks and come to Japan! That's what means. You've met your deadline. See you tomorrow. I drove for four hours just to show you this village. It has one of the highest percentages of deaf people in the world, 10 times the world average. Due to a genetic mutation, many people here are born without the ability to speak or participate in the community. So, this village created its own sign language and taught it to every student in the village, even to kids who are not deaf. And now, deaf kids and hearing kids go to school together. They work together and live together. And the village even created jobs for the deaf population. More than 10 deaf people work here. This video is not about a village. It's about inclusivity. Inclusivity is when the majority cares for the minority. It's about going the extra mile to help. It's about building a community. When the minority and the majority work together, we all win. And all of this I learned from a small village in Indonesia. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. China copied Paris. Did you know that? This city in China has the Eiffel Tower, the French buildings, the statues, the fountains. Exactly just like in Paris, but in China. The Chinese built it because they thought copying Paris would convince rich people to come and live here. But it didn't work out yet. So right now, the streets of fake Paris remain empty. And that's exactly why you should go and visit. Which means... In the world, there's a second Paris that everyone should know about and visit. Because this one is much cheaper, much less busy, and with the right attitude, just as fun as the real one. <laughs> Set on minute. Je vais voir Duman. 
This is the world's best airport, and I'm gonna show all of it to you. This airport is like a mini city with restaurants, a movie theater, a museum, and even a swimming pool, and much <laughs> more. This is not a resort. This is not an amusement park. This is not a health club. This is an airport. Welcome to it's crazy! You can spend a whole day here and it doesn't even feel like an airport. You can swim in a pool, go down a water slide, or play in this five-story playground. There is also a sunflower garden, a butterfly garden, and the world's tallest indoor waterfall, all in this airport. And when you get tired from it all, you can take a break and rest in this sleeping space. This airport made me go from hating layovers to loving them. That's one minute, see you tomorrow. We found a secret island in the Philippines that is full of identical twins. Here, one in three families has twins, from two-year-olds to 89-year-old twins. In total, this island has 78 pairs of non-identical twins, 22 pairs of identical twins, and even a pair of conjoined twins. How is this possible? Nobody knows and everybody has theories. Maybe it's because of their genes, or their water, or their bananas. Ito ang saging na kambal na sinasabi sa aming bayan na pag kumain ka ng kambal at ikinaglilihi ay magiging kambal ang iyong anak. This mystery twin island feels too weird to be true. But then we went there, we saw it. It's real, it's here, and it's full of happy identical twins. That's one minute, see you tomorrow.